So I'm here at the burial site of a famous Belizean. I think everybody knows him. Antonio Sobaranis Gomez, 1897 to 1975. And this is burial, this is his burial site. Alright. His hallmark as a Belizean patriot lies in that he was able to mobilize and organize country movement, countrywide movement, despite his educational and financial limitations. Antonio Soberanis Gomez passed away on 15 February 1975. He lied buried next to his wife, Violet Soberanis. It is. So, we can pay respect to our Belizean patriot. Yeah, your wife the right here. Yeah. Ah, buddy. Alright, so you say, in loving memory of Antonio Soberanis Gomez, died 15 February 1975, and he's a believer. That's the way things are. Believer in justice. Alright. Sapari, Belizean hero, hero, has been laid to rest. Wife, right, so. Yes, wifey. Alright. We are leaving really up because. But I'm this one to look good, wife. We look out. He will look good too. Understand me? Antonio Soberanis. Rest in peace, brother. The man who once said he would rather be a dead hero than a living coward has certainly gotten his wish. Antonio Sobranis Gomez's family today savored the honor granted him by the National Institute of Culture and History, specifically the Institutes of Archaeology and Social and Cultural Research, at his gravesite in Santana Village, once the site of his farm. It was at times emotional as the relatives of this original warrior for the cause gave him his due. I born in Mascal and I grew up five years of my life right here between the two Mohammed Tree Lakes. We so have Ali House who lives there. Granddad live right here, see, and ever since after that he died and everybody, the family just grow up, everybody turned big people and disappear and the place left like this, but only me one live out here now, see, and I did my best way I could do out here, but I can't do everything me one, so, but I know I left here, I did here, I'm buried right here too, so maybe I will go up right here. I recall back, he always tell me, my brother Enrique was not here. Go to school, go to school, go to school. What you have in the brain, nobody can steal from you. And that's why I miss him. But as I'm good at him, he used to tell me I'm my brother Enrique again. Take, you are the two oldest, take care of your younger brothers and sisters. Don't let nobody take advantage of them. Work, make good use of yourself. Show respect and do the right thing in life. I go to his barber shop and he say, go buy some drink. I run because I take too long. He wanted what took me so long. He believed he moved promptly. And that's what I love about grandfather. He never with me one time, but just talked to me, let me show respect and scared. We came to live out in this country, 1935, when there was no road and nothing of this sort. And I, had to come out of school, standard one, to sacrifice to work on a farm right on this side here. That's where my mother, my father, and my, my, my brothers and sisters live. And I had to come out of school at standard one to take care of the family because my father was in Panama. And I'm proud of my father. I was his grave here. And um, I love him to the last day that he lived. And I cared so much about him because my father, Antonio Soranes G, 
was the first hero of his country and he was a sincere hero. ISCR Senior Research and Education Officer Felicia Pelayo detailed why it was important to restore the site for some glory. If you had seen it how it was last year as of September, it was very much overgrown and there was no indication that Saboranis or his wife had been buried here. So through our community heritage development portfolio, we have been focusing on identifying and designating sites of cultural and historic importance in Belize. So those are sites, memorials such as these, that are a part of the community, the community history, and they highlight our heroes, people that are important to Belize's development. So we decided to undertake a restoration of the site. Um, we worked along with the family members who they've been doing interviews with us, giving us some of the personal insights about Saboranis. And we've also been working along with Institute of Archaeology, Institute of Archaeology, sorry, to do some of the restoration here because the restoration of these um, tombs are really more their areas of expertise. So it's not just a burial site anymore for Saboranis, it's actually now a memorial site where students can come out, um, family members can come out and pay tribute to Saboranis' memory. Principal of nearby King's College, Pedro Reyes, CSC School will team up with the family to keep the site in better condition. We were discussing a lot of, a lot of the history in regards to that, but immediately he uh, proposed to me and to the staff and students at King's about the possibility of adopting this national heritage site. And, you know, we uh, at the school uh, discussed it and we agreed that this was something that uh, was part of what King's College is all about, you know, producing responsible and productive citizens in society. So we did agree to be part of this uh, very important day and for future uh, generations or maybe students at King's to be able to take care of this monument. Aaron Humes reporting for News 5.